because I slept with a few dudes yeah, in the past in college does not mean you you're going to sit there and call the wedding off. It was in college. Right now, you're no, no, no. Right now, college. It was in college. Oh, for the love of God. It was in college. It was in college. You act like you were never curious before. You never mess around with. I'm a good man. Any woman, any woman will want a man like me. Any woman will want a man like me. Like me. So you go ahead and try and try to throw me away. You go ahead and try. You go ahead and try. You will never find another man like me. You will never find another man like me. You're judging me. And that's all right. Sir, I don't think that many women want a guy who was curious about hairy booties and found them attractive. That's a very small number of women. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try my best to make this as quick as humanly possible. Okay, I'm going to try my best. This video had me all kinds of way, had me feeling all kinds of way because I've never seen a dude so zesty in my life and so emotional in my life that he actually thinks that he is the prize and that he has to go around telling the girl that, oh, you'll never find another man like me. And he's only mad at her because the young lady found out that old buddy was experimenting in college with dudes, mind you. He admitted it or found out about it. And she was like, nah, I don't want to marry you no more. And he getting in his feelings. Why are you going to judge me from what you what I did in college and da 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 with my past and shit? And then it dawned on me. Gentlemen, we do somewhat have to be held to the same standards, okay? If we're going to sit there and judge a chick for her whole past, I do believe that as a man, with all due respect, you should be judged if you chose to do some experimentation shit. Now, when I say if a dude has quote unquote a whole past that he slept with a lot of girls, I mean, to be honest with you, some girls would actually look at it as if you are a desirable male and you were able to mate with so many girls. So some women wouldn't even look down upon you having multiple girls. They would be like, oh, I'm the girl that he chose to marry. So that makes me feel a way. It makes me feel special because he could have had all these other girls, but yet and still he chose me to settle down with and he chose me to be his wife. So some girls would even take that as a bad your fucking honor but it's gonna be rare and like my man said in the video here's the rare occasion that a woman will actually say yeah it's okay that my dude experimented with other dudes in college i'm still gonna marry him because if a guy found out about the experimentation whole phase of a young lady and she was getting dicked down by a bunch of dudes let's call it for what it is i can almost guarantee you we would not have that same sentiment we would not be screaming um we would not be, hold on, let me get back to it. We would not be as open and accepting to it as this young lady is when shutting this brother down. But the fact that he went out here screaming and all this, I'm the man, you'll never find anything better than me, lets me further know my man does have some very, very zesty and feminine tendencies because that's the type of shit that I would expect the young lady to say when they're about to get broken up with, right? That's some shit I expect a woman who feels as though she about to lose something special would say, oh, you ain't going to never find nothing better than me. I'm the best man you've ever had. You shouldn't judge me for my past type shit. That is literally verbatim what you would hear a female say. And it lets me further know that maybe that experimentation phase is something that is not part of his past and could potentially be part of his present. Right. Or he could have been just raised by women. I don't know. Whatever it is. But even I was raised by women and I ain't never really I ain't never come off like that. That was crazy. The emotional rant he went on and had the audacity to record it. Again, I don't know, man. That just seems like some feminine shit to me. It does. It seems like something I would expect my wife to do if she was mad at me. No, actually, my wife would never do that because she doesn't. We don't record and nor do we put our shit out on the Internet. That's for the birds and shit. That's for some dumb motherfuckers. But anyways, back to the point. Guys, it's hard for me to take a side. Like, there's nothing in this video that says, yo, this brother was right. There was nothing in this video. And the way he was talking really did set it off for me. Like, when I heard him speaking, I was like, yo, he really got, he got, he, he, he took the bass out of his voice. But he was trying to put some bass in there and try to yell at his girl. But a baby girl stood her ground when she had every right to do so. Because, again, we cannot sit there and judge women for their past and their whole history and expect it to all just go away because it was something that happened in college and not hold a dude to the same standard, especially if he out there doing some booty hole experiment. Okay, 
again, live your best life, man. Be true to who you are. If you're gay, you just gay. It doesn't matter. I promise you, I will not care. I will allow you to be you and you do you. Boo boo. But what we are not about to do is sit here and have the conversation and act like, oh man, I'm over that part of my life, man. I don't really think that a lot of dudes who get down like that just completely alleviate that from their lives. Like, oh, it was just something we did. It was fun for a period of time. And then, you know, we just, we don't do it no more. I can't imagine a dude just getting into that particular lifestyle and jumping out of it. Let me let me just spell it out for you if you don't feel where I'm coming from or if you don't hear what I'm saying. I cannot expect a dude to experiment with uh, male-to-male interaction. <laughs> same-sex on same-sex interactions, intercourse, whatever the fuck, and just say, okay, yeah, I did it a couple times in high school, in college, excuse me, but um, yeah, I'm done with that. Like, that's just like, it don't, it's something you don't get away from just like that. I can't imagine because when it's a lifestyle choice, it's a lifestyle choice, right? That's all I want to say, ladies and gentlemen. If you feel different, if you're like, this brother was justified in the way that he approached this woman, she had no problem, she had no right to do that, let me know in the comment section below. All right, good dog is out.